Morning, everyone. I, I'm just um, doing a second update. Uh, as far as I go, I'm, I was stalled at 96 kilos, and now I've stalled again at 94. So these last few kilos for me are going to be a bit of a slog. Um, but when I did the first video, I, I, I said I'd like to try and motivate other people, and um, I hope I have. But today I've got with me Mick Kennedy, and uh, Mick's a friend of mine, and he just recently started the carnivore diet. So welcome, Mick. How Thank are you, you mate? Yeah, good, mate. Yeah. Thanks. And uh, so Mick started the carnivore diet a few weeks ago, and um, but only seriously, like the last three weeks. But Mick, what 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 triggered you to actually do this? Why are you doing it now? Oh uh, well, I've been unfit and unhealthy, and obviously overweight. Um, but my weight wasn't going away, yeah. and uh, and I've seen you on your diet and and the, the gains you've made with your weight loss, and and um, I thought I'll give this one a go because I've tried other ones, yeah. but they in, I invariably fall off the wagon and end up going back to me old ways, and any weight loss that I did have, I'd I'd lose by putting it back on. Absolutely, and that's exactly what happened with me, and I. And what, what's so different about this diet than other diets you've tried? Well, I'm not hungry. Yeah. The other diets, I was always starving, whereas now I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'm actually, there's some nights when I go home, I've got to force myself to eat yeah. so that I've eaten something. Yeah. Because I'm not actually not hungry. And that's exactly what happened to me. I, um, uh, I first thing I noticed, the biggest benefit, like within two days, I've lost my appetite. You know, yeah. I started getting tired in the afternoon just because I hadn't eaten, because we both still work and... And all the rest of it. So, um, before, when you very first started, uh, where were you in your weight, and how far have you come just in these last three weeks? Well, when I started seriously, I, I weighed myself. I was 127.6. Um, yep. I'm now 120.3, which uh, I'm very stoked about. Yeah. Like, um, well, that's seven kilos. Yes. Well, and, and, that, and that's a lot for me. Oh, that's you know, a lot for anyone. Um, sort of thing. So. Um, so no, I'm very excited about that. Yeah, and so you should be. And um, so you, you, has it made any difference? Are you feeling any different now? Yeah, I've got more energy. Uh, before I used to go home and, and sit in my recliner and fall asleep, whereas now I'm not. I'm going home and I'm doing stuff, or yeah. I'm going for a motorbike ride, or I've got more energy to do the things that I actually need to and want to do. Yeah, and that's a very familiar story for me because that's what I used to. Because we work through the day, work with our hands. Sit down after work, I'm tired. Yeah. Next thing you know, it's eight o'clock. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. But, um, mate, so that's the positive side. That's great. Have there been any negative effects so far? Uh, yeah, I've um, um, suffered a bit with constipation. Like, I, 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 um, I feel I need to go. Yeah. But then when I try to go, uh, nothing's happening. Mm. And, um, but um, it's an uncomfortable thing, but. Oh, sure. I've been putting up with it and, and sort of dealing with it as best as I can. Yeah. And um, but and I've started in the last week, probably three to four days in the last week, I've had pretty severe headaches, where I wake up with a headache, and yeah. then when I and it lasts all day, and then I go to bed at night, and I've still got a headache. And with the headaches, I'm sure it's not dehydration because you drink water all day. I I drink half the amount of water you drink all yeah, day. Yeah. No, I, I pretty much live on water. Yeah. Uh, uh, everywhere I go. So. Mm. And with uh, the constipation, I mean, it just shows how we're all different as individuals because I had exactly the opposite problem. When I started, I was running to the toilet yeah. every half hour. But the, the thing we're doing the same is we're putting up with it. Yes. Because you can see the gains. You That's right. up with the, the negative stuff. Yeah. And uh, it gets better. But, um, so, mate, what are your... Uh, what are your short term so what are your benchmark goals as you're going to lose the weight well i'm more i've almost met my first one and that is to be under 120 kilos yeah um i'm hoping to be there shortly yep and um but then I'll, I'll, i want to go in increments of like 10 kilos i want to my next benchmark then will be to be under 110 kilos and then under 100 kilos yep. and, until i get to my um desired weight which is between 88 and 90 kilos yeah yeah so, great and I reckon 88's about right. I'm going to get to 88 and have another look because that'll put us in 88 will put us in size L, yeah. or maybe XL clothes, which we can buy off the rack. Yeah, which is fantastic. 
And uh, you know, uh, you're around me enough, and I've started doing weights. Yep. And, you know, trying to build a bit of muscle as well, so you get some shape in your arms and shoulders. And you mentioned earlier about the powerlifting. You've got plans to yep. restart? Yeah, no, I've got um, plans to get back into the weights because I used to do powerlifting, did it for years. Yeah. And uh, quite, quite um, actually excited and looking forward to that because yeah. I haven't been able to do it uh, due to me size and and because and, I'd try I'd have a go here and there but I was, I was knocking up too quick just not not fit enough not healthy enough yeah carrying too much weight and you know the other thing is when you're carrying the weight I don't know if you remember but Mick had a, a mowing business basically had to give up because it was too strenuous yeah well that's true yeah and uh, I actually thought I was going to have a heart attack yeah yeah so in the future, as far as the future goes, my weight loss is going to be gradual and boring where now that we've got Mick on board, his weight loss should be fairly dramatic and we should have a really good story to tell now while Mick's on the way down. Um, so that'll be just uh, wonderful. And uh, look, I look forward to your comments and just especially if someone can address the headache issue, we're not sure if it's diet related, but it probably is on, the, on balance. Because you didn't suffer from headaches no. a lot before, did you? No. So uh, I haven't heard of that, but if you've heard of that, that's uh, give us some advice. And uh, look, that's it's been a great update. We're going to do another one soon. And uh, thanks for coming in, Mick, and no having a chat, not. and we'll do it again. Absolutely. Okay. All right. Thanks, Dave. Good enough. Yep. Yep. Right, Dave.